Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, are you both on the same page when it comes to being exclusive within your relationship? Dating's pretty confusing today, as we all know. That's like a freaking four hour conversation right there. But the one thing that is I'm finding with people is when they finally do meet somebody that they do connect with, they're not sure where they stand after the three month mark. Am I exclusive with this person? Do I bring this up? Should I initiate that? Who initiates this conversation? Or do you just let things lie and just take its course? Well, I really believe that you should find out where you stand in, in any partnership that you're venturing into because that is your right to know. If they're still wanting to play the field and you're ready to have something with them, full-blown relationship, then you need to have this, this discussed and be on the same page with where you're going moving forward. So many people will spend six months to a year, sometimes even two years in a relationship when the person they're with has no, no idea at all about what they want to do moving forward. So this is something that should be clarified and you have every right to initiate it, male or female, within your partnership. Because you don't want to spend time with somebody when you have different goals than they do. And then at the end of the day, you've spent a, a certain amount of time with somebody that just hasn't even thought about having a, you know, a commitment, having children, getting married, all those things. So you need to be on the same page fairly quickly. And I would say within three months, you should know where you're heading with somebody. It doesn't mean you're moving in together, getting married, talking about marriage or anything like that. It just means you're not dating other people and you're both on board with this. If one person is a little bit more, oh, I don't know yet. Well, okay, maybe another month or so you can figure it out. But I really believe that when you're really good together in a partnership, you know pretty quickly because there's not a lot of questions. There's a lot of smooth flow that happens between the two of you. And that's a really good indication that you're a close couple. So having to wait another six months to figure that out, I think that there could be a bit of a problem there. So discussing it earlier than later will save you time if the person you're with really doesn't know what they want or doesn't want to have an exclusive situation. It's much better to know that than to hang around and figure it out later. Back in the day, it was quite different. You know, the women were at home and they were keeping the, the, the house and they, the man sort of wore the pants. And now things have changed a little bit where sometimes women are coming on stronger. They're wearing the pants and men feel confused as to where they fit. Like, this woman doesn't even need me. Well, the one thing about being in a relationship, you shouldn't need anybody. You should want to be with them, want to be in a partnership with them because it works. You're on the same page in a lot of aspects of your life. You get along, you're really compatible. Sitting there and putting roles on each other is not a good way to do it. If I've talked to many men who say, well, I just don't know who women are. They, they want to kind of run their own show, but they want me to pay for everything at the same time. So which one is it? There's a double standard happening here. I get that and I've seen that myself and I understand why men are saying that. But you have a choice on who you date. You don't have to stick around with somebody who's got a, a huge checklist, somebody who's got demands and all these expectations when you first meet them. That's when you walk away. If you're not in a compatible place with somebody and you feel that they're just there for either your wallet or your, or the girl feels like you're just there for, you know, sexual appetite, well, then you can figure that out by just paying attention. You shouldn't be labeling each other and saying, well, this is what's happening. I'm giving up on dating because it shouldn't be always a quick experience. There should be stuff that you learn along the way. And then you can say to yourself, okay, well, I've seen that type before. So I now know what to look for and I'm not going to date somebody like that anymore. And that's the nice thing about dating is that you are supposed to learn these quick lessons that you move on and find somebody who is better suited for you. Unfortunately, what happens is we stick around too long. Sometimes we hope for more 
Or we say, well, maybe it's not that bad. I'm not dating anybody else, so I'll just hang in here for a while. Don't hang in anywhere if you feel the connection is just not in a good, a good fit. Because that's when you make mistakes. That's when you start getting angry at yourself or angry at other people because you're saying to yourself, they're all the same. Maybe they're all the same because you're choosing all the same. This is something to look out for. Just pay attention because when you're in a good relationship, it's pretty even. There's not a lot of control. You want to have a partner that you're both intervening with. You're both adding to the relationship. And when you're in a good place and say three, four, five months down the road and you open up the conversation and say, you know, I'd really like to be exclusive with you. I really find we have a good relationship. If their answer is, oh, thank God you brought that up. I wanted to talk about this too. This is awesome. Yes, let's move forward with this. Then you know. But don't wait around trying to figure out if you guys are in a good partnership. Make sure that you have the talk. It doesn't matter who brings it up. Just somebody bring it up so that you can both move forward with what you want. If the person you're with doesn't want something full time or doesn't want a committed relationship, you know. And then you can make your choice on what you want to do. Just remember, it's always your choice who you let in. So take some ownership of that if you are having a hard time dating and you're getting frustrated or you're meeting a lot of people where the same results keep happening, where you, you don't become exclusive with them. This is something that you can change. Just pay attention to it. Thank you so much for tuning in today to Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave your comments, please subscribe and click like on the video. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.